Hey YouTube, how's it going? Um, today I want to just make a video to showing you guys an alternative to Windows uh, Event Viewer. What Event Viewer is is um, basically Windows keeps track of all the things, all the your the status of your OS and whatever is going on in it. It keeps track of it within Event Viewer. Um, and how you, how you would go about finding that is. Uh, Normally, you can just hit the win go to the start menu or metro interface, um, the start menu on Windows 7, I guess, um, and then you could just type directly and look for event viewer. You'll see it's right here. Um, so, event viewer is uh, it's a way for you to keep track of your status, the status of your computer, and whatever's going on in it. So, it keep constantly takes logs and it keeps track. Uh, say for instance your computer crashes um, you can go to event viewer directly and just find find out what what caused it what's the error code and uh, like the messaging behind it but you can see this interface is very very complex it, it seems very complex there's a lot of stuff going on here and um, for for somebody starting off and who doesn't know what's going on it's it, it's not very easy to understand um, so today what I'm going to show you guys it's, is an uh, alternative to Event Viewer and it's quite easy to use, anybody can use it and uh, remember this is, this is a method for both uh, Windows 7, uh, I believe Vista and Windows 8 as well so although I'm going to be showing you guys in Windows 8 you can apply this on Windows 7 as well and it's very easy um, so you, what you want to do is you just want go to go to your start menu um, I'm going to go to the Metro interface and just I'm going to type out uh, reliable reliable sorry there really what I'm looking for is this the view reliability history uh, on Windows 7 you'll just type it up in your start bar and it'll come up you'll see it reliable view reliability history um, on Windows 8 you gotta go by default it'll be here you will gotta click settings and then you'll see it's right here view reliability history so we're gonna click that and this is what comes up the reliability monitor and this this is a really amazing find because uh, what it does is it it gives you uh, you can see it's it's following a calendar like uh, structure so day by day it tells you whatever is going on so these this I stands for just a normal um, yeah, just like a normal informational update like it says here it tells you whatever happened that day um, not necessarily it doesn't it doesn't mean something bad happened it's just a log of whatever happened that day so for instance I had security updates and uh, you know all these updates that happened that day um, but as you can see there's also these other uh, icons here as well there's a red there's a red right here on this day so what does that mean it mean it, it it marks a critical event. Something serious happened that day. Or something something went wrong that shouldn't have happened. So, um, like here is showing it's showing that Camtasia recorder stopped working. Maybe a like a program crash or if your system crashes, automatically you'll keep track of whatever's going on. Um, so yeah, this is just this is this is a very easy way for you to keep track of whatever's going on on your computer. Say for instance you're trying to troubleshoot what what just happened something went wrong on your computer you're trying to troubleshoot what happened I personally would first come directly to this reliability monitor uh, go to the date that that event happened to and uh, just quickly check out what what what, what was the problem um, in, in, in you'll normally see if a problem happened on that computer that's not normal the red mark would be there uh, this yellow mark means it's like a caution sign something some a warning that happened um, so for instance this service stopped working um, the warning is this unsuccessful application install installation so uh, you can follow any of these any of these uh, you can look through each day and see whatever happened and uh, if you need more in information on on the warning you could uh, click you could right click and then go to view technical details that'll come up you'll see it's right there and uh, and uh, you can see that uh, 
you can see all the details of that event, whatever happened. So it says exactly this is the path of that program, what went wrong, um, and the time of when that event happened, and uh, all this information is there for you. So it's, it's very easy for you. you. You can copy this to clipboard, and if you want to post it on a forum or something for troubleshooting or for somebody to see it, you can just copy it from here. Um, and it also gives you options to resolve whatever happened in case uh, you want to go go through with that. So it's, it's a very easy way to troubleshoot your computer, see what's going on. You can see down here it says save reliability history, meaning save everything that's here. Um, view all problem reports. I can see a report of each one that happened. Um, and uh, down here you can say check for solutions to all problems so we'll automatically go through each one and try to figure out what, uh, how to solve it so uh, yeah this is a very handy tool I just wanted to share it with you guys and uh, I'm sure it will help you guys a lot in the future so make sure you guys always uh, you can you can turn to this whenever something goes wrong with your computer and try to figure it out if this one doesn't have any information then of course You'll go, you should go ahead and check Event Viewer because it has a lot more details on your problem. So, um, thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to comment, rate, share, and uh, subscribe. Take care guys.